Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Today I would like to explain or can say derive a relationship for the measurement of effective diameter by three wire methods. So in that case of the three wire methods which is most accurate methods for the measurement of the effective diameters. So just you can see the geometry or you can say setup for the measurement of the effective diameter by three wire method. So in that case three wires of known diameters are used. One of the side and two on to the other side. So just you can see the figure two from one of the side and one it will be from the opposite side. So in that case micrometer anvil is placed parallel to the axis with the correct alignment. So the wires are held in a hand or you can say hung from a stand so that the wires adjust themselves under the micrometer pressures. So that will be two anvils and one side it will be the two wires and another side that will be having a single wire for the measurement of the effective diameter by three wire methods. So let us see. So capital E that will be the effective diameter of screw dead. So just you can see the figure that will be the effective diameter range. So capital E then H that will be the diameter over wire or you can say the considering the maximum size. So that will be the oversized from the that wire from both the ends. So that distance between both the over wire size and that will be the maximum distance and that will be representing as a capital H. Capital Y similarly diameter for under wire and that will be the minimum. So from this underside from both the ends so that will be the capital Y distance and small d that will be act as a diameter of wire. So this wire it will be used for the measurement so they will be considering as a small d. Now from the second side just considering the single wire it will be acting with the measurement so just you can see this is our thread and this is considering as a one wire. So that wire it will be having a small d diameter so this one is just d by 2. Now according to this geometry for E H Y so similarly that oversize that will be considering as a capital H then from the effective diameter to the another side so that will be E then under wire size that will be the Y. Now at the center of that particular wire that will be making a O point and this effective diameter it will be intersecting so it will be making a R point. Now at the right angles from both the sides when wire touches the flank of the threads so that will be making an angle 90. So here that will be the L point so here the total distance from O to L that will be the diameter by 2. So here just you can see the extension of this flank with respect to our horizontal it will be making an angle theta by 2. So overall that will be the theta angle so that will be the half of that so you can say it will be the theta by 2. And according to this geometry so that N point, I point, K point and here from the J point. So just you can see N to I distance that will be representing as a capital M. And similarly by the geometry this angle it will be the theta by 2. So now we will see. So just you can see here that will be the O2L. So considering only this one. So this triangle and that will be from second triangle. So these two triangles will be made from these two triangles. So now consider triangle 
O L G. So finally you will get sine theta by 2 that should be equal to O L upon O G. So from sine theta by 2 equal to O L upon O G. So sine that will be equal to 1 upon cosec theta. So cosec theta by 2 that will be O L upon O G. So finally you will get O to G distance this one that will be d by 2 cosec theta by 2 and just put the value of O L and that will be d by 2. So finally you will get O G equal to d by 2 cosec theta by 2. Now considering the triangle N I K from the figure and apply the tan rule so tan theta by 2 equal to I K upon N I. So from figure, so just you can inverse of tan theta by 2 and that will be cot theta by 2 that will be equal to ni upon i k. Now as from the figure, Distance Ni that will be equal to capital M and Ik that will be equal to P by 2. So from figure just put the value of these two into the previous equation. So, so finally we will get capital M that will be equal to P by 2 cot theta by 2. So R to G distance that will be equal to 1 by 2 into M. Now just put the value of m from these equations. So 1 by 2 into p by 2 cot theta by 2. So finally you will get r g distance that will be equal to p by 4 cot theta by 2. Once again from the same figure just you can see. So o r plus r g that will be equal to o g. So just you can change the side o r that will be equal to o g minus o r g. So just put the value of o g and r g. So so o r equal to d by 2 cosec theta by 2 minus p by 4 cot theta by 2. Now from the main relation shape, just you can see from the figure, capital A that will be equal to capital E plus twice into OR plus twice into OQ because that will be used for both the ends. Now just put the value of OR and OQ in this equation. So let us see. So capital E plus twice into d by 2 cosec theta by 2 from OR minus P by 4 cot theta by 2 and plus twice into d by 2 because OQ that will be equal to half of the diameter. Now simplify these equations and we will get capital H is equal to capital E plus d into cosec theta by 2 plus 1 minus p by 2 cot theta by 2. Now this equation apply for the metric thread as well as withward thread. So let us see. So depth of the thread that should be equal to 0.6495 and theta equal to 60 and that is from the standard nomenclature of the metric thread. Now Effective diameter equal to D minus 0.6495 into P where capital D that will be called as a major diameter. So now just put the value of these equations into the main equation. So, so capital H equal to capital E plus D into cosec theta by 2 plus 1 minus P by 2 cot theta by 2. So now just put the value of effective diameter, depth of the threads and the theta into these equations. So D minus 0.6495P that will be effective diameters plus 
plus d into cosec theta by 2 theta equal to 60 plus 1 minus p by 2 cot theta by 2. So simplify these equations and write like this. So finally capital A that will be equal to d plus 3d minus 1.5155 into p for the matrix 3. Now we will see for the width word 3. So second one for width word 3. For width word thread, depth of the thread that should be equal to 0.64, theta equal to 55 and effective diameter capital E that will be equal to D minus 0.64 into P. Just put the value of these three into the main equations and finally you will get the answer. Capital H is equal to D plus 3.1656 into D minus 1.6 P. So this is the methodology for deriving an equations for the effective diameter by three wire methods as well as it will be used for the metric thread as well as the Witwer thread. So I hope you understand this. That will be the easiest derivations. So if you like this then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you very much.